All right, so continuation of more experiments. These are LEDs I got off Amazon. I took it apart. Look, these are multicolors. These actually work with remotes or did. Uh, but what's more important is their multicolor LEDs. And you know I'm looking for a permanent solution. Now, these use different batteries. These use the CR2450s, but I'm pretty sure this will work with this. Because I've found that some of the other ones that I got um, work off of, you know, coin batteries or eight AA batteries. It doesn't matter. It's pretty crude. So these are the CR2032s currently in the Elpis flower. So my thought process is this. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can mod this in. Oops. Now we got the flathead. I'm going to have to take, so I'm going to have to take that other LED out. This. Well, there's no warranty anyways, right? It's not like I can return this anywhere. <laughs> it's already broken. So, my question is, do 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 Removing these screws, these weird screws. By the way, I did research. I, I can probably get a new webcam soon for less than using all the five. Um, iPhone, which I forgot I gave to my mom. Um... Anyways, okay, let's see. Can I get this out now? <sighs> so this is the next question. Am I willing to rip off this white LED? I don't know. I really don't know if this can be replaced so easily. I'm not quite sure how they're bonded. But I suspect that I can. All right, here we go. Not recommended. This will probably ruin it completely, but I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. It's already messed up, right? Uh, trying to figure out if there's a way I can push this out. Oh, kindly. Oh, look at that. Okay. So that's that one. Can I put this one in and not have it go poop? Oh, so that one had a nice mount for the... See, that one has a peg. That's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. So this is where, if I were really cool, I'd have, like, um... Hmm. <laughs> I'd, like, solder this. I'm not that cool. I'm not that uh, technically inclined. I think what we just want to do is prove this will work. Uh, no. This, I'm pretty sure, has a metal plate on the bottom. Okay, bye. Bye, old LED. Sorry. I'll put you aside for a moment. You may go back to being part of a flower thing. Uh, see, I think that's the plate, right? Ah! So the question is, will the battery that I want to put in and this... Oh, no! It will not go in so nicely, will it? This this spring is a little problematic, but I bet it's part of the conducting. I need a metal plate on the bottom. That's what my question is. Shoot. Ugh. I want to use you, my friend, but it will not work this way unless I can shove you all in here. Well, here's the thing. If I break this off, it will help, won't it? Yep. Oh, that was too easy to break, my friend. Look at that. Now that's a problem. This is gonna... Okay, well, I did it. Broke off my independent... <laughs> Broke it off, and it wasn't hard. Gosh, okay, well now I don't feel so bad so much um, agony over that because it's not a very good plastic, is it? Um, yeah, all right. So I took that off. There's still something not... Okay, well, all right. Break this off too. Because it's in my way. 
And it's not, gosh, it's really not hard to kill it. Someone's going to kill me. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, what's going to happen is if I ever show my face, reveal I am this person, look at fan fest, they're going to kick my ass. But look at that. It's gone now. Goodbye. You know what? If I had a file, this would be even easier to remove. Like the people who do resin, they probably know how to do this. This is probably like, oh, that's so easy, man. What you, what you stressing out for? All right, all right. Everything's been filed down now, to the best that I can with being a lamo like me. Um. Okay, let's put this flat again. Down here. And. It's not a perfect fit because it's a little too too big, but I'm going to try to hack it in. Oh my god. Maybe I, I'm in the wrong spot. I don't know. This is the part where I struggled on the last video because I can't see the lines because I'm a lame-o. Right? Are there holes here? I am using a little force to hold it down. I think there's a, a well here. <laughs> Ree! I want to turn it sideways! Okay, so I have to make a comment because this wasn't in the initial video. So one of the things I had to add was this little metal strip. And the reason why is when you look at a lot of battery ter terminals, there's a spring, right? And usually on the other side, if you look really carefully, there's a metal piece. Well, there isn't necessarily one on the... There is something here. There's metal, definitely. But I found that without inserting a little bit of metal here, which I took from another LED terminal. I just cut off a little square, I slotted it, it's touching the, through the hole, the LED, and it's just here, and it'll touch the edge of this battery. You know how I know it works though? Without it, this doesn't happen, and with it, this happens. So I think essentially what had to happen is I had to close the loop on the terminal. So now that you know that it's in the right place, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I do wanna say something. It, this will keep popping out, but I can force it down and once it closes. The thing is, how do you know you're closing it the right way? On the bottom of the flower base, there's a, a notch here. There's also a notch over here. So make sure you match it this way as you close it. That's all. So give me a second, I'll close it. All right, so as you can see, I've got one thing where I've damaged. That's the one, the first one I got, and then the second one has two leaves. but. You can definitely uh, see now, it's worked twice. There's probably other LEDs uh, that are that are a little bit easier to place inside and adapt slightly differently. So I'm actually looking forward to a couple other people um, showing their versions once we get more of these in North American hands. But in any case, I hope you enjoy it.